What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And today, we are looking at my favorite side patio toy hauler of all time. This is the 2022 Keystone Raptor 429. And we have an even better one to look at than the last video I did because this one has the full body paint scheme on it that has the blue, gray, white, and black automotive full body paint. Looks absolutely incredible. Definitely making a statement when you pull up to the campsite and has the side patio on it plus the rear patio so many incredible things to look at on this fifth wheel so i am very excited this also is i believe the most expensive towable fifth wheel that i have made a video of on my page so a lot of really cool exciting things about it let's go take a look what's up y'all welcome back to another video if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos i'm super excited that you're here just sit back relax and enjoy and if you get something out of this video consider hitting the like button down below and definitely that subscribe button if you haven't already and become a part of this growing community of rvers all around the world if you want to connect with me on other social media platforms links to my instagram tiktok and facebook are down below where you can find other related rv content that i post on there regularly and then finally if you are interested in this toy hauler here or maybe any other rv that you have seen on my page you can text me at the number on the screen i am in a sales position so i actually can personally assist you in purchasing your next rv so if you see something that you like out of this rv or any rv that you have seen on my channel you can text me at the number on the screen and we can set up a time for you to come see it in person or you could purchase it directly over the phone so text me at that number on the screen there and i would love to help you out now let's get on to the video all right y'all i am incredibly excited to look through this thing with y'all so this is something i haven't really spent more than maybe five minutes looking at as i've been getting it set up and everything so there may be some new things in there that we might discover along the way as well i don't know but we'll start at the front and work our way back and then head inside so you can see on the front cap here really nice clean looking paint scheme you have a pretty aggressive look here with how they do the molding on that front cap as well looks really clean up here you have your docking lights it's hard to see in the bright sunlight but you have a blue led light strip that goes around the front there and then you're going to have two puck lights here that will shine down into the bed of your truck as well as you're setting up your hitch you're going to have a kurt pin box up here so this is going to be the kurt rotaflex pin box it's nice it has like this brushed kind of matte black paint on it so it looks really clean and then you're going to have this pivoting head here that will as you brake and accelerate as this is sitting in your fifth wheel hitch this will pivot back and forth to absorb a lot of that shock you have about a one inch thick rubber bushing here to absorb that as you're going down the road you also have this hitch vision plate so it will allow you to see down into the bed of your truck as you're backing up to try to line up your hitch a little bit easier by yourself so you will have that there not the biggest plate in the world, but it is functional. You can see as you'd be backing up, you can see to try to, your hitch, imagine it, it'd be sitting right here and you can kind of line that up underneath there. So love that. You can see it has a nice glossy finish on the paint job. You can see me in the reflection there. So it looks really, really clean, looks really good. And this hasn't even been detailed yet. So it's gonna look even better once we actually have a chance to wipe it down and get it all polished and cleaned up. Coming down underneath here, two 30 pound propane bottles in this compartment both stored together so love that love that these are both together in the same compartment and then for 2022 get that closed up there we go they have been going to these new latch handles that i really really love there was really nothing wrong with the other latch handles that they used to have but these here are just so easy to just of course doors locked of course the door is locked all right i had to run inside and grab the keys for this thing but this here it's just super easy to just flip that up i mean you almost hardly have to pull on it at all and i love that it has a little grip on the back here so there's it's hard to see on camera but there's a little grip behind the back there so if you compare it to like the handle on this here it's a little bit more chunky and has a bit more of like a aggressive click to it when you pull it open again there's nothing wrong with these here but I just really like these smaller little latches there that are just so much more clean on your mechanism that you pull them with. So really like that. As we pull this back, you'll see you have your 5,500 watt Onan generator underneath here, the Cummins Onan generator. So that'll power everything on the RV. You're going to have six point hydraulic auto leveling on this fifth wheel. So. You'll have two stabilizers here, two more in front of the axles and two more behind the axles. 
and it'll all be hydro uh, hydraulic auto leveling on this fifth wheel. Here's your battery compartment with your auto leveling controls. So you can see you have a space here for three batteries. So you can fit up to three batteries in this compartment. It'll come with one. So if you wanna add the additional batteries, you can do that there, but it'll come with one at no extra cost. You're gonna have your auto leveling touch control panel in there. And then back behind here, you have access to the pass-through storage compartment, your inverter that's going to be helping power the refrigerator. And then you're going to have all of your water connections back in here as well. Plus your outdoor shower connection for hot and cold water outside another solar plug so you can plug in an additional solar panel if you want but you'll see in a little bit there is already solar on this rv and then all of your water connections and if you wanted to hook up a satellite on this rv this would be the plug for that as well that is already pre-wired all the way up to the roof which that wire is right behind that little blue cap right there so everything water related is all in this compartment here this is your tankless on-demand water heater so you're going to have a tankless water heater in a raptor and then as we look underneath here, you can see you have storage for your sewer, uh, sewer lines right in this tub or little tube right there. And then underneath here, fully enclosed underbelly, all of your water tanks and water lines are going to be sitting above the insulation in the enclosed underbelly. So they will be getting radiant heat fed into that cavity to keep those warm. Plus you will have 12 volt um, tank pad heaters on all of your water tanks as well. So water or a uh, heat source going to your water tanks from the battery as well. Then I want to point out here that you can see all of your openings where there would possibly be an opening are filled with that expandable foam so no little critters get up inside your RV. We're going to go around to the other side but real quick just want to point out on your slide outs here these are cable driven slide outs so these are going to push and pull at all four corners with the same force so that this is going straight in and out every time making sure you have a real clean push and pull on the slide out and then you'll have the same thing on here as well again really nice just look at the paint here with the raptor decal looks really clean so we'll come around to this side and you're gonna see you have two awnings on the outside so you have one out front um, covers your door as well and then you'll have another one over the patio for your lights you have a led light strip up under the awning here and you're going to have another one over the door so those will be really bright in, in the nighttime through here we already kind of looked in here but you have your pass-through storage compartment you can see it has all aluminum framing throughout there this is your in command panel so all your color coordinated wiring is all back here so every single one of your wires in this rv has its own designated color so that is going to help with any sort of troubleshooting electrical issues um, making that much more organized and clean to figure out any electrical issues that may need to be taken care of and then also want to point out um, you will have heat duct running into here so you will have heat fed into this area and all of your framing on your aluminum framing is going to be welded on both sides so kind of show you back up underneath there we have a pre-owned rv on our lot right now not a toy hauler but a pre-owned rv that does not have aluminum welding on both sides of the frame keystone does that on every rv so i'm so used to seeing that it surprises me when i don't see it but just know that not all RVs weld on both sides of the frame connection. So you'll have that everywhere on this toy hauler and you can see your floor up underneath is wrapped as well. So this here is gonna be your 25 foot coil hose for the outdoor shower connection and then your central vac hose there that will reach the entirety of the interior space of your RV as well. Open this up, you're gonna have your hydraulic fluid for the auto leveling system. And then here you're gonna have your two outlets so you will have two outlets for the outside. And then we'll go back to the side patio area where you can see you have your amazing side patio here. You are gonna have a set of steps that it comes with that will connect right here. So you'll have a front entrance step that can go right there into the patio area. You get a TV outside. So you have a really big TV and two JBL speakers up above your entertainment space. So you have your outdoor speakers for all the entertainment. And then you can see how nice this setup looks where you have the awning that covers your patio. So that'll be all covered. It'll come out to, if I'm standing here, it'll come out to right about right here or so. So you will have that covered patio space. And then you have the patio off the back as well with its own designated awning. So you have three awnings in total, two different patios. This will have a side step off of it as well. 
and it's just a pretty killer setup. All right, I'm actually currently in the process of getting the RV set up for the video, but I don't want to have to do this process twice, so I'm going to show you how both of the patios are opened up. So we're going to take a look at that. Get you in my hand here, and we are going to walk inside the garage. So I don't know if this door is unlocked because this thing just came in. It is not unlocked. So but there's two ways to open this garage so one is this yellow pull string right here so we're just gonna pull this that'll unlatch it you can see we are now unlatched I'm gonna leave it just like that you can push it down from here because it is going to be assisted coming down but I actually want to come outside and show you from outside the other way to open it because it is going to have a key right here or you can also open it from right there. That's going to be an electronic lock that is going to unlatch that as well. So once you've done that, then you can see it is a zero G ramp door from more rides. So what that means is as you start to pull this down, it's pretty much weightless. I mean, it has a little bit of weight to it, but I'm doing this all with one hand. I can hold it up with one hand. You have these cables right here that are assisting you as it comes down so that it's nice and smooth and easy and don't have to worry about too much on that back door. You also have the legs down here that you can set down to make contact with the ground for more stability. And then you have these cables here that you can detach so that you don't have those in the way of your patio. If you did want this to go all the way to the ground, you just detach those cables and this will continue dropping all the way down to the ground. So that's how the back patio is set up. And then we'll go over to the side patio. And on the side patio, you're going to have these arms here. You can lock these if you want. So you can put, see, you can put a lock through there. You hold those up, lift that up there. Now this one is going to be a little bit more heavy once it is released. You can see I have both sides released, but you do have these springs down here that are still assisting you with the weight, but I will have to get this one a little bit more with my body weight underneath it to assist it as it goes down. So I'm gonna set you up on the tripod as you watch me take this one down here. So move these out of the way. You're gonna be able to start pulling this down here. You know, sort of walk it down. It's actually really not that heavy. As you can see, I can't do this with one hand. I just wanted to be safe, but it's really not heavy at all with those springs that are assisting you. And I hope you can hear me. I just realized I'm kind of far away. But yeah, so this will be your side patio setup, and then you'll have your gates on both of them that you can set up around the patio. This one here does not have the legs. So those cables will stay in place to hold that up as well. So just wanted to show you how those come down, but now we're gonna walk through the rest of the video and I'll show these more in depth with the patios out and everything like that. Actually, you know what? We're gonna keep going because I wanna show you how these patios set up as well. First of all, let me take you off the tripod here so you can see these latches in here are really, really easy to use. Basically, you have the pins in the leg of the patio there that this is gonna extend out and they'll snap into place right here. As soon as this locks in place, that'll lock right there. You can see it locks just like that. And then you just hit this with your toe to unlock it so it'll come back out. So really easy to snap in place, really simple patio system that I really like, but I'm gonna show you just how quick and easy it is to get this patio set up. wheels on here so everything will roll and these just extend out you line them up snap into place and same thing here snap into place got one side done and come over to this side Snap into place and snap into place and you're done. Then you have this sliding door here as well. So your third set of steps will go right here. I hope you can see that on camera. Okay, yeah. So your third set of steps will go off of this part right here on the front, but real easy, simple to set up. And you will have a bubble on here as well to make sure it's level installed from the factory and a backup camera up here installed from the factory so you don't have to worry about that additional expense either so a lot of great stuff that it comes with there 
Coming over to this side, last couple things to look at, you'll have your ladder to get up on the roof and we will go up there in just a second. For your ladder back here, this is just going to lift up like this so it goes flat right there. You have pins that go in these holes right here that I just took out that are right there. So you can pull this back and then we can get up the ladder here and we will climb up. Also want to mention your ladder capacity is 250 pounds. So capacity on there is 250 pounds. Have a nice little additional ladder space up here to get up on top. And as we come up here, you can see you have your wine guard 360 degree omnidirectional um, antenna. These ACs here actually sit a little bit more shallow to keep the height of the RV down. So you can see like the ACs that are on this bullet they're a little bit taller than what the ACs are on this one here, but these are all 15,000 BTU ACs. And then as we come along the roof here, fully walkable roof, fully walkable slide out boxes, 200 watt solar panel that comes standard on this RV. So you'll have 200 watts of solar going to the battery. You can expand upon that system if you wanna add more solar capacity. You'll have three ACs in total, plus you have some attic vents on the roof here. And then you can see all your different vents here that you have that are vents that are inside the RV that you can open up to air out the RV as well. So three ACs in total up here and the 200 watt solar panel plus your wine guard omnidirectional antenna. All frameless windows on all of your windows here on the sides except for in the slide out box. So they look really clean, flush with the unit there. Back here you have your 50 amp plug connection. So that'll be your electrical plug. And then you're gonna have here to turn on your pump for the gas pump which is in here my assumption is this is going to be locked so get this opened up you have your fuel tank underneath here you're going to have two 30 gallon fuel tanks one will be for your generator and one will be for your toys they are both going to be for unleaded fuel only so no diesel um, but you will have a pump underneath here and you will have uh, 30 gallons for your generator as well so 60 gallons of fuel capacity in total as far as your dump stations go, you're gonna have one behind the axles and one in front of the axles. So this is just gonna be for your half bath here in the back and then that is going to be for your bathroom and kitchen up front. Finally, you're going to have the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system on this toy hauler here. So that is an upgraded suspension system from the factory that it will come with. You're gonna have a beefed up 12 inch I-beam frame here as well. So that's really nice and that is just about everything on this toy hauler i believe we'll head back to the front and then head inside there's everything on the outside at least let's look here i want to point out you do have 7,000 pound axles and you do have a g-rated tire on here as well so three g-rated tires so all right that is everything on the outside give one final look at the beautiful exterior of this rv and do not worry it is beautiful on the inside too so let's go take a look all right, as we go inside, I'm gonna open this door up a little bit more. At first, I wanna show you, you have a strut assisted step here. So I can literally just kick this up with my foot, catch it with my hand because it is gonna be assisted there. So it'll stay up on its own. The most important thing about this is that this step is not necessarily super light. So if it were to slip out of your hand or anything like that, it could fall on you and it really could crush you if you don't have something like that there. Um, it'll definitely have the chance to knock you over if you were to have it slip out of your hand or whatnot. But this will catch it, make it really easy to get it up and down. Um, more than anything else, just makes your life easier because there's really no weight that you have to assist with in moving that up and down. It'll catch all the weight for you. So love that. Again, this is the 429, has the extreme temperature package on it. And as we come inside, this is the new 2022 colorway. So I have already taken a video of a 429 with this color scheme on it, but not with the full body paint scheme. So that's what I'm really excited about. Let's take a look at that. But as we come in here, you can see in my eyes, this has a very like industrial modern sort of feel with the light woods that you have on the slide out in the doors and then the white cabinets, cement colored countertops. It gives me like a modern industrial kind of feel is what I sense looking at this. And I'm a big fan of it. I know it is polarizing, so you don't have to tell me or you can. Well, actually, no, let's do this. Tell me down below in the comments what you think about this interior color scheme, because I want to know what you think. I know it is polarizing. Some people love it. Some people hate it. 
And I want to know what you think because Keystone does watch my videos. I know they see them. I know the reps for Raptor see these. So I'm curious what you think and you let me know if you like the interior color or not. So as we look around in the kitchen space, you are going to have solid stone countertops. Again, they're like this cement gray color, really clean finish on them. Gives me very toy hauler vibes with this counter color there that you have. And then you're going to have the white cabinets up above with the tan cabinets down below. All of your cabinet doors will be soft closed. So you have your trash space in there and you can see soft closed cabinets. They all have magnet latches. I had somebody um, comment like, for it to not sound like I should try to not sound like I'm trying so hard to open the cabinet doors, but they're hard to open. These magnet latches are tough. So I like that. That way they don't pop open on you while you're going down the road and they stay closed. You can see you have your screen here for the backup camera system that's already installed. Again, soft close on the cabinets. You're gonna have a big storage compartment up here. You have storage up above the cabinets as well. Quite a bit of space up there that can be used. That's at least about a foot worth of space if not a little bit more. And then more storage up above your sink. So lots of cabinet space. I love the black handles on here, like very clean. This is like a faux black splash here. It is not actual stone, but it looks really nice. Matches the decor really well. You have an outlet right there in the corner. And then you're going to have your stove here. It is a three burner cooktop. It is a Furion cooktop. All of these lights will turn red or not all of them. Whatever burner you have turned on will turn red when it is on. So you know that it's on. You have your oven underneath here and you have another storage compartment underneath the oven. This little flip down area here you can use for some storage and then these three will be drawers that will pull out. So you'll have three of the same size drawers and then more storage underneath the sink. Finally, with your sink, it is a single basin sink that comes with this rolling rack over the top. So you can roll that back, but you do have this prep rack here and you have this single basin sink underneath there that's about a foot deep. Have another outlet right here on this wall and another outlet here. So three outlets in the kitchen area. You have your light fixture over the countertop here. You could put some bar stools here if you wanted to as well. So love that. Then you have your coffee station right here or what I would suppose people would use as a coffee station where you have more countertop space, additional storage space, and then you'll have storage space down below as well, down under here. So lots of storage space here for additional items and can set up a kind of coffee bar area down here. You're going to have a higher residential refrigerator. This little thing here is going to make sure your doors don't open up while you're going down the road. So you can take that out. We'll just put that right here for now and we'll put that back in just a second. But open this up, you'll see it is a higher, I believe this refrigerator here is about 16 cubic feet. So residential fridge has the two doors down below with the slide out trays. So you'll have all that down underneath here. It does have a little ice cube tray down there as well. So you can close those up. I love the look of this refrigerator. I'm gonna screw this back in just so this doesn't get lost here. Actually, you know what, makes more sense just to put it in here because people are gonna to wanna to see inside that refrigerator when they come to look at it. So let's just leave that there. So love the look of the refrigerator in here. The residential fridge gives it a very clean look all throughout here and definitely a fan of that. I almost forgot to talk about the price and y'all would have killed me in the comments, I already know. But here is all the options that are on this Raptor toy hauler here. This is the MSRP sheet, so this is not our actual sales price. But you can see with all the options that are on this Raptor, the MSRP comes out to 162. So that is what the MSRP price is on here. Obviously, we're gonna be selling it well below the MSRP price. But if you are interested in our sales price and interested in purchasing this RV, you can text me at the number up on the screen and I will get you our actual sales price with financing options for you. So you turn to this area, you're gonna see you have your huge windows on this side. All of them are gonna to have to pull down blackout shades. And then all four of these here will recline. You also have these extendable cup holder areas here that will pop out. So a lot of people go without even noticing that those are there, but you will have those on both ends. You do have a designated pantry space here. 
So it's shallow because you do have a half bath behind here, but you do have shelving space throughout this area. And you're going to have storage up above as well for some additional storage. I absolutely just love the soft clothes. I love that I can just drop them and know that I don't have to close them all the way. They'll close on their own. More storage up here, up above the TV. This is gonna be about a 50 inch TV that you have in here. So a nice big size TV. It will swivel out as well if you wanna be able to see it from the kitchen. And then you'll have a um, fireplace down here that is gonna have four different colors on it. Nice big fireplace. And the biggest thing with this is it is an electric heat source. So you can get heat out of this fireplace here running off the electricity that will help heat up your RV without having to run propane. So great thing there that you have. You'll have your sound system here with your speakers up front and forgot to turn on that light right there. You have a nice backlight above the TV also. And this switch is for your overhead lights. See how those turn off right there. So you have a nice switch right there that's easily accessible. Also have multiple outlets behind the TV here so you can get to those. And that's gonna be pretty much everything for behind the TV because you do have the half bath behind there as well. This here is pretty cool. This is a soundproofing door essentially. You see the seals around the door and how thick they are. Those really thick seals are going to block out a ton of sound. So if you have kids that are staying back there, I have the patio doors open and I have techs out there that are working on RVs. Every bit of sound that I just heard going on in the outside world through that door just went away as I closed that door. So I love that. You can still see back into the garage, but it is a soundproofing door that is going to block out so much sound. But what we are going to look at before I head back there is we are going to go through this door here and then we're gonna go through the side patio into the garage. So first, before we do that though, I do wanna show you because this is something that's important to me. Your, first of all, your recliners have heat and massage features on them. And then for the reclining function, we gotta test how far back they'll go. So you lift that up there, you can see it reclines, it's nice and sturdy. And then they will all lay back about that flat there. So it goes pretty dang far back, giving you a real comfortable seat. So absolutely love that. Oh, get that closed up, there we go. Light switches here, and you'll have USB ports on both ends of the sofa as well. Now coming here, you're gonna have your central vac system, so you can hook up a hose there and have your central vac. And that'll be just about everything as we go back into the side patio area. Or as we come out here, you can see you have awning coverage that'll come right up over my head here if we had it extended all the way out. So you can have this awning covering the patio. You have another TV just as big as the inside TV out here. And then you have two entrances. So you have the entrance into the living area and the entrance into the garage area. So you have both different entrance spaces. You have plenty of space out here. Let's see if we can find the weight rating on this patio. Patio has a maximum capacity of 10 people or 1500 pounds maximum. So 1500 pound weight rating on the patio there. Um, in the ramp position, these have a 3000 pound rating when they're down in the ramp position, but that doesn't matter on here. So 1500 pound weight rating on there. Again, you have the tinted glass doors that are soundproofing going into the living space as well. And you have your JBL outdoor speakers up here to get the party jumping and make sure everybody out here is having a good time. Plus you have the LED light strip that'll light up this space at night. So that'll be really bright in the nighttime to light up this entire patio area. So let's go back into the garage. As we come back into here, I wanna point out a couple different things. Okay, first of all, before I forget, I am going to make sure I show the half bathroom because I forgot in one of the other videos I made of this unit that has well over 100,000 views on YouTube. And that has been the number one comment on that video is that I forgot to show the half bath. So this is your half bath here with the porcelain toilet. You have white cabinets back underneath here. Nice looking sink that is going to be a, um, looks like a fiberglass, yeah, fiberglass bowl right there for the sink. Plus you have a mirror right there, an outlet, and super tall ceiling space here with a lot of natural light coming in from that fan. So there's actually no light in here. That is all just natural light coming into this space. So a really tall um, bathroom space that you have right there. I actually, 
If I can make one change to this toy hauler, I would have probably taken away some of that ceiling height. Although I guess if you do this, then you wouldn't have a fan going into the bathroom. You would just have to have a window. But maybe could have added some more storage if you eliminated some of the ceiling height and just did a window for ventilation. But that's just a little critique that maybe I would have on this particular floor plan. Then as we come back here, one thing I really want to point out, first of all, I'll give you kind of a pan around the garage space here and everything that we have going on. But the biggest thing to talk about in this toy hauler is going to be the tie down system. So these tie downs here are welded to the frame. Every one of these tie downs has at least a 5,000 pound force that it can handle here with them being welded to the frame. And there are a lot of tie downs out there in toy haulers that are not welded to the frame. So super important to talk about that. Some of them are just screwed into the flooring, which I think I still have pictures that I can put up here on the screen that I took from a Facebook group where they had a toy hauler with tie down screwed to the floor and their Harleys fell on top of each other as they were transporting down the road because their tie downs pulled out of the floor because they were not welded to the frame. So you're getting a welded to the frame tie down. If you have toys, it is going to make sure they stay in place as you're going down the road. So really important to talk about that. It does come with a carpet in here. So you can actually lay down a carpet that would cover this whole garage space to give it more of a residential feel. It's gonna be about this color right here without the kind of stain color in there from all the footprints. But it'll be about that color if you wanted to give this a more residential feel. Maybe you're just using this as a bunk room so you can do that. All of your windows will have these blackout shades that you can pull off there so they will all snap into place. You have these vents that open up. So if you do have vehicles back here with gasoline fumes, this will allow air to flow through here. And then there'll be another one down there in the corner that open up so you can have air flowing through here as you go down the road. Get your ventilation. You have three ACs on this toy hauler. So the third one is in this garage. It is actually independent of the other two um, AC units. So this one is not going to be cross contaminating your air, meaning that anything going on back here, this air back here is not going to go into your living space. So if you do have vehicles back here with different fumes and whatnot, you won't be smelling that inside your living space. With these beds and sofas here, how these work, these are gonna go up and down. So you can see here, you got all your switches right here. These beds will go up and down. I don't have time to kind of show their full function in this video, but these will go up and down. If you want this bed to move with it, what you do is you move these all the way up to where they sit right underneath here. You remove these pins and then they will both come down together and then you just lock, this will stop right about here so that you have a second queen size bed up over the top. There's also gonna be a table up there that it'll come with that can sit between these two sofas here or be used for whatever you want. It's a freestanding table. But these here can be kept to the side if you need more high clearance for your toys or they can be put together into a bed formation where they both sit like this and raised all the way up if you need more width clearance. So that is done with this right here. You just pull this up out of the way when you wanna move those out and you'll be able to lock those up into a bed position. Then this part here actually folds over to turn them into a sofa. So these can sit down at floor level It's, it's two sofas. You can have them as a bed or you can have them up against the wall here. So three different formations that they can sit in there. Then you're gonna have your two steps. One is for the front patio, and then this one is for the back patio. So two different step systems. Then you have a really nice tinted glass door here. So these glass panels are tinted and they will go all the way up to the entire height of the patio. Right now I just have the screen doors open so we do have some air coming into here but you can slide these all the way up to the entire height and that's gonna make it like a three season door. So on a really hot summer day, you can actually, and I know this because I filmed one of my videos of this model on a 95 degree day here in Texas and I had the ACs running for about two hours and I had the patio open with the glass doors all the way up and it was just as cold in here as it was in the rest of the toy hauler with that patio open. So they do a really good job keeping the outside elements out. As we open this up, we will both slide across here. Have a couple different functions. If you are wanting these out of the way to load toys up into the toy hauler, you do have a pull strap. Um, I'm not sure exactly where it's at. I know it's on here somewhere. Oh, there we go. It's already unlocked. So you can see those actually go out of the way. Here's the pull strap right here. So this little cord right there, this will allow it to lock into place and then it will also 
come out if you need to move them out of the way. You have the patio out here, so another awning covered patio. This TV also drops down to about this area right here so you can see it from out on the patio. And then you have the backup camera installed from the factory, two LED lights to light up this space and a really cool patio setup where you can also set up a side step there. And so you have both patios that both have step entrances onto the patio so you don't have to go through the RV to get onto the patio. Love that. So there are a lot of toy haulers that do not come with steps onto the patio. So be aware of that if that's something that you like. Underneath here, you're gonna have some tool storage compartments. See, this goes down underneath here. Try to get the camera to rotate. Goes all the way down underneath there and all the way down underneath there as well. It's a really big space under there for all your tools and this is all metal. So you can hear the clang of that as it goes down. Really good quality. And that is just about everything back in this garage space. You have some storage compartments up here as well. So those will open up. Same thing on the other side. Have these here too. You have two speakers up on the roof and then you will have your AC unit up above here if i can show you there's usually it's hard for me to see what's going on on my camera but usually there's outlets up there above the bed as well so you will have some outlet spaces up there as well and i believe that's everything i'm trying so hard to make sure i don't forget something because there's just so much to talk about in these soy haulers but i believe that is everything so far so let's keep moving on let's go up to the bathroom and bedroom space We'll close that door up and let's move up this way to the bedroom and bathroom we'll stop here in the hallway talk about a couple things real quick you are going to have the capability to put wi-fi and lte on this rv um, with the wine guard digital antenna that's up on the roof this is going to be controls for your tankless on-demand water heater this is a thermostat so this is where it is sending information to your ac panels or i guess it'd be this panel right here for the temperatures in the rv this is your touchscreen control panel oh before that real quick you can turn on and off your inverter in the storage here without having to go down to that inverter and then right here your touchscreen control panel the coolest thing about this is this links to your phone so everything that this can do your phone can do you can turn on and off your generator from inside the rv you can schedule it to turn on and off when you want you can do the same thing with your acs so you can see what temperature the rv is and you can turn them on and off um, you can do all this from your phone as well. So, so much that you can do with this touchscreen control panel. And then you have a couple light switches here. Now, going into the bathroom, see so you have a door here going into the bathroom. Keep that open and look at how beautiful it looks in here with the backlit mirror. You have these nice storage compartments in the corner here. I really like the layout of this bathroom, how they put the toilet back here in this area so it's kind of out of the way you have a storage cabinet up above that's going to be a porcelain toilet you also will have another fan in here as well letting in a lot of natural light and then you have a skylight over the shower so in the shower you're going to have a seat in here and you're going to have a fiberglass one-piece shower and nice big shower head and if i stand in here i'm about six three with the shoes that i have on right now and being six three my head does not even touch the actual ceiling without the bubble. So the ceiling height in here is still probably about 6'5". Um, my forehead goes to about the height of the shower head there. And so I would have to duck down just a little bit to get that my full head underneath that. And then with the skylight here, you could probably be about 6'7", six, 6'8", six, and still be able to stand in the skylight area. So that's kind of how the configuration for that works. Um, you can open, you can slide these the other way, obviously, but for transport purposes, they have the latch right there to keep everything in place while it's going down the road, which is why they're currently opened up on the other side. That makes it a little hard to get out of there. In here, nice use of space in the corner to give you some shelf space there. And same thing here. And then going to your medicine cabinet area. You have three drawers underneath here that can all be used for storage. They go pretty far back and then all this open space underneath the sink. Nice metal sink in this area, black countertop, or it's kind of like a charcoal gray. And then you have all of your medicine cabinet shelving. Black faucet, black appliances, looks really clean. Sliding pocket door going to the bedroom, and then going into the bedroom, you have a slide out for the wardrobe. 
So that is all wardrobe storage. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Really nice look and design in here. Finished out real well. This is a king size bed that is in here, but you can see we have some space over here to slide this over. So even with the king size bed, you still have a bit of floor space here to walk around. You can sidestep and get around the bed or you could put a queen bed in here if you want. You have wireless charging pads in the bedroom. So when you're hooked up to power, have the generator running, anything like that, you will have wireless charging pads that you can use. And if you wanted to expand upon the solar system, you can get power to some of the outlets in this RV if you expand upon the solar a little bit. Storage all up above. You have wardrobe storage in these two uh, cabinet doors here that both have mirrors on them. And then through here, you're going to have just an unobstructed storage space. Again, all soft closed cabinets, even in here. And you'll have three pull-out drawers it'll all be the same size there a little bit more bedside space on this side and you'll have storage underneath storage up above nice little shelf here that can be used for decorative stuff or functional stuff if you want to store things up there and more unobstructed storage all the way through in that compartment you have a tv installed in the bedroom in this toy hauler so it will come with a tv it is a fully equipped toy hauler and then your AC system, I want to talk a little bit about these because you have the Coleman Mach ACs on here. These are about 12 decibels quieter than your standard AC system. So they really are just about as quiet as what like a whisper quiet AC system was that they've kind of gone away with as these are getting a little bit more power used out of your AC system than the whisper quiet system was. So more efficient system in general as far as cooling down your RV and it's just as quiet. And then Keystone has gone to the Blade AC vents here which I know these work because I've, start, I've started to see some other manufacturers copy what this is. It's not exactly a blade system like what this branding is on this, but I've seen some other RV manufacturers now using these same AC vents. So I know it works because they wouldn't copy it if it didn't. And what these do, these push air out in a 360 degree motion that is going to give you significantly more air coverage than directional vents that just shoot air in one direction. So these are cooling RVs down up to 20% quicker than standard directional vents because of the significantly more air coverage you get. And because the openings are so big on here, these are much quieter as well than the vents that you have that are directional because more air can fit through here, making it less noisy. So really great system they went to with the Blade AC vents, and these are in pretty much every Keystone trailer at this point. Now that's just about everything in here. You got outlets on both sides, plus you got an outlet underneath here. When I say both sides, I mean on both sides of the bed. You got a window in here for some natural light. And the ceiling height in here feels about to be 6'5 or 6'6 in this bedroom. So we got plenty of space in here for most people. Come back through here, down into your living space. And that's just about everything. So y'all let me know down below what you think of this toy hauler. I absolutely love it. I think it's so beautiful inside and out. And I think it's so cool for anybody that wants to go out and party while they're camping. This is the rig for that. So, but y'all let me know what you think down below in the comments. Okay, as I was making a video for TikTok, I realized a couple things I forgot that y'all will definitely comment on if I don't get video of. So table underneath the bed here so actually not underneath the bed in the toy hauler area but all this storage space all the way up to the front cap underneath the bed that is framed out and then a couple other things i missed that i know y'all might have already commented on them you have the loft up overhead here that we forgot to look at that has another sleeping space there you have an ac vent up there as well and an outlet so that'll be sleeping space wanted to make sure you got a chance to see that and back here there was something else that i realized i missed oh yeah first of all these are your steps for the patios if i didn't mention that and then washer dryer connections they are here in the garage space and this is for a ventless dryer so that means you are going to get a combo washer dryer unit back here since there is no vent here for a designated individual dryer now also on the garage here, this is going to be about a 13 foot garage, but I'll measure that real quick just to give you an exact measurement on it. I just realized I only bought a tape measure out here that's only 12 feet long, but you can see the 12 foot mark hits right about where my thumb's at. So you have 12 and a half feet to the wall here with the patio doors on there. It will become an actual true 13 foot garage if you took the 
glass doors and the patio gate out and did not have that taking up space against your door of the garage. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you are interested in this RV, I am in a sales position, so I would love to personally assist you in helping you purchase this RV or maybe if you've seen another RV out there that you like. I would love to help you and assist you in purchasing your RV or setting up a time to come look at it in person. So you can text me at the number on the screen if you need to set that up or if you would like to buy this RV. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.